This video is going to talk you through how to write chemical equations using formula from word equations. So I've written a couple of kind of points to be aware of, um, some kind of easy tips to follow that aren't in notes and PowerPoints. Um, the first one that a lot of people forget to do is take one substance at a time when you're doing it. Rather than take the full equation at once, it can get a bit confusing trying to match it up. You're better doing it one at a time. So for example, like this one, you would have three separate things rather than one big thing. Um, also, again, not sure if this is in a PowerPoint, you need to convert the word to the correct formula using one of the methods we've already done. So remember, there's three. So you can either do the element method, where you just write a symbol, and you can add a wee to if it's one of the seven diatomic. Um, if it's not an element, so there's two words, you may need to use prefix methods. And if there's no prefixes, you choose valency. So this is a common thing people forget about. A lot of people just look at the name, write down the symbol. So like they would write sodium, Na, chlorine, Cl, sodium chloride, Na, Cl. Now that might work for some, but others it wouldn't. It's just your luck, depending on the question. Um, there's a couple of questions throughout that refer to acids. So here and here. We cover the acids in another topic, um, topic four. But some of you may know it from previously or have Googled it, potentially. So what I've done is just written them down here to refer to in case anybody doesn't have them. So hydrochloric acid, HCl. Um, nitric acid, HNO3, which is kind of similar to nitrate. NO3, there's just a H. So furic acid is H2SO4. Again, similar to sulfate, the SO4. So, going back to here then, I'll do one at a time and it slowly gets a wee bit harder. So, sodium, if you refer to your three options, it's an element, it's not one of the seven diatomic. So, I just write down its symbol. And you're done. Chlorine is an element. It is one of the seven diatomic. So, if you can't remember that, refer back to the other um, PowerPoints in the formula topic. So chlorine, you write its symbol, Cl. Because it's diatomic, you put a small 2. Sodium chloride, you can't just squish these two things together because that's incorrect. That's why you ignore that. You only look at the one thing at a time. Um, we are taking the other two. So there's no prefixes. So valency method. So sodium um, and chlorine, what I would do is do a wee bit of working somewhere just in another piece of paper. So I have mine set up here, so you can see what I'm referring to. So you've seen this method before. Sodium, Na, Chlorine, Cl. Both fail and say one if you use your data book. Swap them. They won't divide any further, so that becomes NaCl. So you then transfer that into your equation. And make sure you have your pluses and arrows still in there. So that's your final answer for that one. Next one, carbon hydride, refer to your list. It's going to be valency method because there's no prefixes. So back to my working. So carbon C hydride is hydrogen, so H. Carbon is valency four, hydrogen's one, swap them. That becomes CH4. Now this one, I've always noticed some common mistakes because what people do is they get mixed up between element methods and valency methods and they put a wee two there because they know hydrogen is diatomic, so it gets a two. That rule doesn't apply when you're doing valency. You ignore the diatomic rule and you use its valency value from the data book. So CH4. Carbon hydride is going here. Oxygen is an element. It's one of the diatomic, so O2. Probably knew that though. Carbon dioxide prefix. Again, you might be able to guess this one because a lot of people know it, but use the rules. Prefix method, you can do working for that if you wish, um, but I'll just go straight to it. 
CO2. But don't, if, if you feel you need to do the working to get it right, do it. It's not wasting any time. Um, water, you just need to know H2O. So there's um, question B. Next one, magnesium. Um, it's an element, so Mg. It's not diatomic, so no two. Hydrochloric acid is one of my common acids, HCl. So I'll put it over here. Arrow. Magnesium chlorides, no prefixes, so I need to do valency. So back to my working page. Magnesium chlorine. Mg, um, the valency is 2 from the data book, chlorine is 1. That is a small L, um, don't do capital, it kind of looks like a capital, but you need to do the same symbol in the data book, it's just my writing. Um, swap them, so we get MgCl2. So again, a lot of people would just have written MgCl and squashed it together and forgot about valency methods, so you need to do the working for it. So back to here, MgCl2 plus H2 because hydrogen is a diatomic element. Um, maybe just to point out here, don't worry about having the same number of things in each side. I know that we then look at balancing the equations. For now, don't worry about that if you're asked to write a chemical equation. So like here, there's two chlorines there but one there. That does not matter in these questions unless it says balance the equation, you don't need to do it. Um, so, last one, sodium carbonate. So, sodium carbonate, um, you'll need to do a valency method because there's no prefixes. So, again, back here. Symbol, um, sodium Na. Carbonate, remember, 8 tells you it's not carbon, so you need to use page 8. You'll find carbonate there. Um, because it's on page 8, it goes in brackets. Sodium is valency 1. Carbonate is valency 2. Swap them. We then get Na2CO3. So go back again. Na2CO3. You can remove the brackets. Remember, if there's no number outside so if it was going to be one and you've removed the ones you can just write it without brackets but it's up to you it's easier to leave them in every time so you know if you're doing it right um nitric acid is on our list hno3 sodium nitrate is valency running out of space sodium nitrate Again, nitrate is on page 8 in brackets. 1 and 1, so NaNO3. So what I mean by not having to draw brackets, if I do it here, because it didn't have a number outside, you could just do it like that, but you can also put the brackets in. It's up to you. Water, we need to know. Carbon dioxide, prefix methods, again, quite an easy one. CO2. So that's four examples. I think the bottom one's the hardest one because it has the brackets involved in page eight. Um, common mistakes there. But hopefully that um, lets you kind of self-mark your own and see if there's any mistakes you've made that I've pointed out. If you do have the notes for topic five, this is some of the examples from it. So you can mark it. But please send anything to me anyway to help you out with.